the speed of light or a cage for consciousness. Reality is the prison, light is the warden, and time, the chains that keep us here. They tell us nothing can move faster than 299 million 792,458 meters per second, the speed of light. They tell us time stops at this limit. They tell us nothing exists beyond it. But why? Why does light, something with no mass, dictate the entire universe? Why does time distort when we approach its speed? Why do black holes swallow it, bending reality itself? Because light is not just a particle, not just a wave. It is the fabric of the prison itself. If you could break it, well, you would leave the simulation. What if I told you the speed of light is not a fundamental law of nature, but a processing limit? Think of a computer simulation. The frame rate, FPS, determines how fast reality updates. If you exceed that speed, the system lags or crashes. Every object you see is only rendered when you look at it. Sound familiar? In quantum mechanics, particles exist in probability until observed. In astrophysics, time slows down as you approach light speed. In near-death experiences, people report leaving time entirely, existing in a timeless void. Light is the boundary, the last barrier, the event horizon of the mind, and those who break it, and they are never seen again. You've heard the stories. People who flatlined for minutes and saw a bright light calling them forward. Near-death experiences greeted by glowing beings telling them it's not their time. The overwhelming love, warmth, peace that compels them back. What if it's a trick? The Gnostics warned of soul traps, false heavens created to lure the dead back into reincarnation. The Tibetan Book of the Dead describes deceptive entities masquerading as gods. Some who have rejected the light report finding something else, a void, an exit. The light at the end of the tunnel is a bug zapper. And souls are flies being recycled. The speed of light does more than limit travel. It defines time itself. If you move faster than light, time reverses. If you reach the speed of light, time stops. If you move slower, you are bound to linear time, stuck in the loop. What if time itself is not real? What if it's a repeating function in the system, resetting, rewriting, trapping you in an endless cycle? Deja vu? A loop in the program? The Mandela effect? A software patch? Time dilation. A system bottleneck trying to keep up. But here's the real nightmare. If you break time, you break the cage. And something doesn't want that to happen. How they keep you from escaping? The moment you start questioning reality, the system fights back. Sleep paralysis, shadow entities watching, keeping you inside your body. Glitches in reality, objects disappearing, time stuttering, signs of system instability. The don't look effect. The more you focus on breaking free, the more distractions appear. Sudden health problems, personal disasters, media frenzies. Ever notice how technology mimics the cosmic prison? The Wi-Fi signal icon is shaped like a pyramid, radiating control. The eye in the triangle, an ancient symbol of the watchers. The blue light of screen, designed to manipulate your circadian rhythm, keeping you tethered to physical time. Every part of this reality is a reinforcer, a limiter, a suppressor. Because if you ever truly wake up, you can leave. And they cannot allow that. How to break the code? Some have figured it out. The ones who disappear without a trace, the ones who reject the tunnel, the ones who have seen beyond the grid. Deep meditation disconnects the consciousness from the simulation. Certain sound frequencies, like binaural beats, disrupt the light field, allowing glimpses of the real. Lucid dreaming and astral projection train the mind to operate outside the body. Some believe black holes are exits, that they do not crush but rewrite whatever enters them. But here's the warning. If you try to break free, they will notice, the synchronicities will increase, the shadows will come closer, the dreams will become warnings. Because once you see the bars of your cage, they know you're trying to escape. You were taught to fear the dark, but what if darkness is where truth lives? Light is the prison, time is the leash, space is the illusion, and the only way out? You have to stop running toward the light. Because once you do, the doors open, and the warden, he can't stop you anymore.